Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We are going straight to the mansion. Here we go, the second visit. Will it be as spooky as the first or spookier? I guess we will find out soon enough. I think that was the same cutscene as before. Anyway, the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, get something that I forgot up here. Um, way back in the study, not study room, excuse me, the uh, reading room over here. Uh, I forgot to shake those books, bookshelves up. Why did I do that? Bookshelves up on the wall here. They will give you some loot, if I'm not mistaken. If, uh, or at least sometimes they will. I don't know if they do it all the time, though. As I said, there's a random occurrence, like 50-50 shot at something happening when you when you shake bookshelves. I don't remember shaking all these, so that's why I'm doing it, and I guess there's nothing there for now. Um, I should mention this now, someone else mentioned this, I forgot to mention it myself, but when you uh, use your vacuum on a door, like in this hallway, remember there's fake doors? Well, real doors will shake when you vacuum them, but fake doors will not. But uh, I always just check, always just checked my map to tell which doors are fake or not. Anyway, let's start the next area officially now that I got that done and over with. There's normally stuff in the bookcases, so go back there and check it. There's some money and stuff like that. But anyway, this door that was now locked before and thorned or electrified, whatever you want to call it, is now free thanks to the key we got from Chauncey. And now we can go in. Now you'll notice that this little cutscene here is a little bit different because the key is different in the cutscene. So that's a nice little touch there. They made sure to uh, differentiate between the keys there. And here we go. We've got two new enemies in this area. One is a dangler, which uh, drops on from the ceiling, which I'm going to show you here. This thing here. Just move your uh, flashlight up to the ceiling, and yeah, they've only got... Uh, I mean, they don't have any HP, excuse me. There's those bats as well. Um, there's a bowler enemy here. These uh, ghost enemies, they have bowling balls. Um... We'll see if one appears coming up now. There we go, watch us. They bowl a bowling ball towards you, and then that, that's how they try to hit you. Now, there is a gold mouse in this very hallway here, which I'm going to be trying to get. Um, the, the trick is that the trigger point is like... The trigger point is like right around here, and then the gold mice starts about here, then goes all the way down the hallway that way. But the problem with this is that... It's a random gold mice. <laughs> I just said mice as if it was plural. It's a random gold mouse. Well, it only appears 20% of the time. So you have to keep re exiting and re-entering the room over and over until you have a shot at getting this mouse. So let's see if it works. No! Failure! That was try number three already. So as you can see, this kind of gets pretty troublesome, especially in this one room which I will uh, get to later. Oh shoot, stop hitting me, dang bats. Stop making me drop my pocket change. Ugh, I need that to get an A rank. I don't really care so much about my health because I'm not really gonna take that many hits anyway. So, nope, still no gold, <coughs> gold mouse. Ugh, come on now, any day now this will work. But uh, I just want to basically show you how how much trouble you have to go through in order to get these random gold mice to appear. Uh, but otherwise, I think in the future what I'm going to be doing is cutting forward. Uh, whenever when you when a gold mouse shows itself, um, what'll happen is it will make a little jingle, like a jingle of coins or something like that, and then it'll appear, and it, it is not appearing just yet. You'll know when it happens, because when it happens, you'll know the jingle. It's a unique jingle. <sighs> okay, maybe I should cut ahead. Aha! There it is! Woo! Jackpots! And that took way, way longer than it ever should have. It took like an extra two minutes there or so. Oh, man! I'm glad I cut ahead there. Uh, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure this door here is locked. Yeah, it is. Um, but I'll be back in there later. There's a gold mouse in that room. 
that will be it'll be in this chapter actually. But the next, um, I should say, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is going to the basement here. Uh, this is called the breaker room. Well, not this room here, but this room in here. And look out for the mice in here. You want to shake this table and a blue ghost will appear and suck it in for a load of cash. As well as a delightful sapphire. Woo! And yeah, that's another, yeah, I mean, yeah, another blue ghost that I'm going to be covering. Well, I should say I did cover. And all you have to do is just look out for the mice. I'm pretty sure they keep appearing no matter what you do. So, I wouldn't really worry about them too much. Uh, or maybe they did stop appearing. Well, anyway, this room will not be cleared. Uh, at least, not right now. So, what you should do is just leave it for now. And we'll be back here later. That room will actually be locked later. But that room is very important to this game's uh, progression later. Anyway, let's continue on. And go away, Dangler. Oh, I should check the doors that, I, that are open here. Uh, the only door that's open is the one over to the end of this left hallway here. No, the, don't you dare get me, Ghost Mice. You will not bite my shoelaces. And go in here. And you'll notice that this room is very dark. It's very spooky. There should be ghosts appearing. Oh, this is a new enemy. It's called a Grabber. They are really annoying. Uh, these, these ones in particular don't do any damage when they grab you, but if you touch them they do damage to you. The problem is that when they do grab onto you, uh, they stop you from defending yourself against other enemies. And Mr. Elvin Gad here, uh, I already took care of them! What the heck are you briefing me on? I'm briefing my peeps about this? No, uh, well, whatever. Anyway, you can pull her, pull the shower curtain away by vacuuming it, then shake up this tub. Uh, I don't think anything appears from shaking the tub. But you can get um, a water elemental ghost from this faucet later. I'll be covering that later once I get the opportunity to do so. Uh, there's a heart over there. And obviously to get that key down from there, just vacuum it up from the top. Next place we're going to is going to be the ballroom, if I'm not mistaken, or the dance room. It's one of the two, I forgot what it is. Regardless, there's going to be a portrait ghost in there. Ah, uh, and it's just right down this hallway. By the way, you probably should, like, check these vases here. Ooh, hearts. Like, just to make sure there isn't anything, or there is something in there, I should say. Ooh, gold bars! Sweet! Uh, there's a couple more vases down this hallway over here, and there should be some ghost that's gonna scare me. No? Well, at least scare Luigi, excuse me. And, uh, oh wait, <laughs> I completely missed this vase here. I just walked right past it, and that's exactly what I was looking for, too. Durr, PK Gam. Yeah, all these bats only have one HP as well. In fact, they don't even show their HP. They just get sucked right into the vacuum cleaner. If you have ghosts in your house, just buy a vacuum cleaner and you shouldn't have any trouble getting rid of them. Um, is there any more vase? Oh, here's one. Yay! Woo, it's another heart, but I don't need that. Okay, now go in here, and let's see what the name of this room is. Oh, these these are called mask ghosts. Oh, this is the ballroom. Uh, this, these are called mask ghosts, but they are obviously ghost shy guys. All you have to do is suck their masks off, stun them with the flashlight, and then suck them in. Like that, boop, and boop, just like a normal ghost now. No problem. Uh, these ghosts are pretty easy to take care of. Just keep your distance as you're sucking their mask away, because otherwise they'll do that, my bad. Um, once you defeat all the ghosts in this room, like these mask shy guy ghosts here, uh, oh, no, they split up. No, 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 Dang it, I knew that was gonna happen. When they split up like that, they usually break your hold, because you're not, you don't have a steady hold on them, they're taking you in two different directions. And that's, that's their plan, if you get two at once. Um, as I was saying, once you de defeat all these, uh, mask ghosts here, oh, come on! Um, a portrait ghost will come in here. So, any day now, I'll get this done. Whoop! And one at a time is definitely best for these guys, I guess. Unless you're you're really quick with your sucking, or you get really lucky. And that takes care of another one. Uh, oh, I don't need to get that heart. Never mind. Uh, it's best to only take care of one set at a time if you can. Oh shoot, I grabbed two at once! 
Oh, poopers. Uh, sometimes if they drag you around too much, you'll actually take damage from it. And... Let me... Come on. Come, what the heck? I, my flashlight was right on him. Dang it. And... Give me... Give me your mask. There we go. Give me your body! Alright, now the main portrait ghost of this area will appear. And the floor will start spinning. These are the floating whirlindas. And what you gotta do to make them appear is have your back turned towards them as they're dancing around. Wait for them to do a sparkling dance move or whatever the heck they do. This, it's coming up right here. You'll, they'll go like, aha! And then you can stun them with your flashlight like that. And here we go! Time to get their pearls! Give me your loot! Give me, give me, give me your 10, 10, 10. Yes! Beautiful! I got all the pearls I could possibly get from them. And that also clears this room. Come on. Maybe I should just use my vacuum cleaner to get the pearls. If you ever have any treasure around your house, make sure to just vacuum it right up. Anything in the chandelier? Anything? No? Okay. Um... Thing, these chairs? Picture? <laughs> Gotta loot the rooms, remember. Always make sure you don't miss a thing. Oops, why was I gonna, um... Vacuum that door. Doors don't contain anything. Don't need that heart. Okay, this room is clear. Boop! This should give me the key to the next room, to that door that you've just seen off to the right here. And this is the storage room. There's another blue ghost coming up in here. Oh, I should also add on this map, um, the areas are color-coded. Like, yellow is area 1, blue is area 2. Um, I forgot the colors to the rest of them, though. Um, but if you're ever in a room that isn't cleared, it'll be gray, no matter what no matter what area you're in. So here we go. Storage room, and should be a blue ghost right in these crates. Here we go. Oh, come on! Uh, I'm gonna reset that blue ghost, because I want my flashlight pointed towards the ceiling this time. Uh, because he appeared pretty high. Oh, wait, there we go. No, come on! Come on now, man! I want you so much! I want to make babies with you! There we go! Gimme, give gimme! Give oh, come on! <laughs> what the heck? And, you know, when a blue girl runs away like that, it's very, very difficult to get it. Come on! What the? There we go! No, 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 no! Oh, dang it! I think I just lost my blue ghost chance there now. Unless it's gonna reappear when I leave the room. Uh, but I guess we're gonna see in just a minute. I hope I didn't lose my chance. Yeah, looks like I lost my chance. Dang it! Well, there's another blue ghost that you can get. And as as I said before, mice, or I should say gold mice and blue ghosts cannot be found unless... I mean, cannot be found if the room is clear, excuse me. It has to be found in a dark, uncleared room. Um, these grabbers are different than the other ones, these red grabber things. Um, they actually do damage when they grab onto you. So you want to take care of them first, for certain. Oh shoot, no, 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 no. Oh, that works out. <laughs> and now, you'll notice in this mirror over here, you'll notice that there's a very suspicious thing on the wall. If you search this room high and low, you aren't going to find anything. So this room looks like a dead end. You know, the first time you come here, you're like, man, what the heck? This, this room is... It's... Oh, pocket change. Yay! You're thinking to yourself, dang, this room is just, like, diabolical. I, I don't see anything. This must be a dead end. Is this just, like, a treasure room? No. If you look in the mirror, you'll see that there's a switch on this opposite wall here. See that little button there? If you go into the Game Boy screen, hmm. press it. And there you go. <laughs> now, what you're going to look at over here is you'll see a poster on this wall. It says danger on it. Looks like there's a, some evil ghost hiding behind some bars here. So let's just pull off that poster. That poster scares me. Whoa, there's a switch behind here. I didn't know that. Press that switch. You have to do this to continue to the game, by the way. Oh no! What, what the heck? King Boo? Aha, yeah. Be just very afraid of my poltergust. It's okay, Luigi. We're safe now. Anyway, Egan will say basically that uh, I released all the ghosts. Well, 
some of the booze, I should say, and, uh, I flushed them out, but, uh, I probably shouldn't have let all of them escape, but I was just too frightened to get them, as you can see. Um... That'll start a brand new mechanic, uh, called Booze. There's a total of 50 of them hiding in this house. Uh, really, you have to find 35 of them, but I'll, I'll explain why that is later. Um, to 100%, well I shouldn't say 100% this game, to get an A rank on this game, uh, you definitely want to get all the Booze, because they'll give you a good chance at getting that A rank. Um, so... Uh, in the next part, I'm going to be showing you how to flush out boos, how to detect where they are using the boo radar here, and uh, collecting as many as I possibly can in the first area. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part. You know, once Egad here stops the gabbing. Toodaloo!